Well, if you're out for an adventure, the ultimate wildlife adventure, we've made it here on the Sunshine Coast to... Australia Zoo! Woo! It's absolutely beautiful here. If I was an animal, this is where I would like to live, for sure. Yeah, we're in the Africa section. We're going to take you through and show you the whole the whole place. Looking forward to getting the, the crocodiles, seeing, seeing the Irwins feed the crocodiles. So looking forward to that. We're here at the meerkats. They're the cutest little things. So join the little adventure here at Australia Zoo. <laughs> Pretty cool, Aiden. Yeah. You're nearly as tall as them. The little zebra you are. The pygmy zebra. Look at the height difference to the giraffe. <laughs> Um, There's not much of a height difference to the baby ones when they're lying down. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> 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 We're making our way now to Bindi's Island, home to their Lima population that roam free on the island. Open sesame! <laughs> Yeah, so it sounds like they're probably going to do a call out. Normally in that really deep one, they'll like do it to each other and it'll last like a minute or so. How's it go, the real deep one? Oh man, I'm not doing that for you. Oh, come <laughs> on. No. Uh, I'm really bad at imitating them. <laughs> <laughs> know where all of them are? <laughs> no, I'm not me. They wouldn't hunt something down as such, but they definitely kind of do eat little bugs and insects and things like that. So they are classic what do you reckon, animals. Mate? Um, cool. but it's basically dependent on the season and what's kind of in flower or what's around at the time and what's in their habitat and things like that. Australia Zoo have a very successful breeding program for the lemurs, which is fantastic since they are on the critically endangered list. There are over a hundred different species of lemur and they're all only found on the island of Madagascar. So I think those lemurs are pretty cute. That's all you got to say about lemurs. I, I expected them to be a little more like King Julian, but they're not. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it.
So here at Australia Zoo, they have boa constrictors and pythons. What's the difference between the two? Well, both are constrictors in that they grab their prey, they'll coil themselves around and constrict their prey until it's dead and then they'll eat it. Some of the other differences between the two is pythons are generally found in Africa, Asia and here in Australia, whereas boa constrictors are found in Central and South America. Another difference is pythons lay their eggs and then will coil themselves around and incubate them uh, until they hatch. Whereas boa constrictors, uh, they will give birth to live hatchlings. Both boas and pythons are some of the world's largest snakes and they have some fantastic exhibits here at Australia Zoo. The green anaconda, which is a boa, is the world's heaviest snake. Uh, it can weigh up to nearly 200 and 50 kilos. However, the reticulated python is without doubt the world's longest snake, growing up to nine meters in length. I love handling snakes, but there's no way I would find to pick up one of them on my own. Pretty big, isn't it, Aiden? Would you want that as a pet at home? Yeah, It'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? No. You could sleep with that at night and let it cuddle you. Let's go see some tigers. So the stars of our show, all the facts to Malcolm, Sally and Sage, they are our 11 month old Sumatran Tiger Cubs. Now as you can see, we're going to get our tigers moving around, getting all excited with these toys and hopefully start to encourage them in the pool as well. Woohoo! Have a fortunate day! <laughs> So at the moment there are less than 400 of these guys out in the wild at the moment. That was the best job in the world. Oh. Oh. There you go. Big job, Mika. The awesome guys. As I as I was saying, she is uh, especially keen on. Uh, Tires. Charlie's playing with a bit of shade cloth that's being wrapped up at the moment. Is uh, when the handlers ask for a toy back, that the tigers do give them up straight away. Aiden and Ashley, what do you think of the tigers? What do you think of the Sumatran tigers? Would you like to hop in the water and swim with them as well? Yeah. Who wouldn't? Yeah. So we've got the Elwins filming over there. Some media they didn't know Fair Dinkum Adventure were here. <laughs> <laughs> Australia's most iconic TV channel yeah. <laughs> is here in their presence. <laughs> they missed out. They missed out. Can I pat him? Put your hand out slowly. Yeah.
pet of a koala. But shh, don't tell it. You made her twitch. Death roll. Crocs will roll to get an animal off its feet. 
very quickly. And he absolutely loves this. Look at it. It's like when you play jungle war with your dog. He's like, this is awesome. I'm winning. I think I'm winning. He's like, I'm never letting go. I weigh more than you. I'm bigger than you. And I'm never letting go. So, scrap the wins and he gets his lunch. That is awesome. Congratulations. At this point in the show, we're gonna actually have to infringe on Scrapper's territory to really get him fired up. Okay. What do you reckon? When you say we, what exactly do you mean? Well, I can do it if you want. What? Yeah, just jump in. What? Swing your phone. What? Yeah, what do you reckon, guys? Yeah! Let's do it. Alright, ready? Alright. Be very, very careful. Okay, good luck. About 30 degrees in there. Quite pleasant. Scrap is like seriously stalking me now. He's underwater, he's in full head mode, he's got his little legs tucked by his sides, like actually moved. fantastic place to finish on here at Australia Zoo. It is well worth it. Uh, bring the whole family. You'll spend the whole day here and you'll love it. We had a day up here with friends from Brisbane. It's only an hour north of Australia Zoo. So had all our mates from Brizzy and uh, we decided all to come up here for the day. So it's been awesome to have a day looking around Australia Zoo. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you've liked this episode, please uh, give us a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe, <laughs> and we'll see you on our next Fair Income Adventure.